Based on the recommendation of Gateway Planning, our Main Street Planning Consultant, City Manager Mark Rohr, Paul Menzies, and I had an opportunity to make a trip to the Dallas area to look at how several communities address the development and redevelopment of their downtowns and the creation of new urban centers. We visited Addison, Plano, Allen, McKinney, Frisco, Denton, Roanoke, and Grapevine. While much of the work was recreating and re-energizing existing downtowns, some of it involved the creation of new urban centers, creating a sense of place in the endless suburban footprint. Our first stop was Addison, Texas, a four and a half mile urban enclave located 15 miles north of Dallas on the Dallas North Tollway. While Addison has a new urban center, Addison Circle, we picked up on the linear fountain they created by integrating a storm sewer ditch with urban runoff and a series of ponds to create an attractive linear styled fountain in this urban area that is a gathering place for public events, weddings, and picnics. This stream and series of ponds was created in the 1990s and improved and upgraded through the years and remains a popular gathering spot. The next three stops, Waters Creek and Allen, Legacy Town Center in Plano, and Frisco Square in Frisco are great examples of the creation of a new urban center from the undeveloped suburban frontier. Form-based zoning, vertically mixed-use development, and even the creation of a sense of place. The Urban Centers study defines an urban center as a form of development that integrates components of modern life, housing, workplace, shopping, and recreation into compact, pedestrian-orientated neighborhoods. Form-based development uses form rather than separation of uses. Form-based codes address the relationship between building facades and the public realm, the form and mass of buildings in relationships to one another, and the scale and types of streets and blocks. The following three examples are different approaches to creating an urban center using form-based zoning as a tool in performance-based public-private partnerships to encourage the urban form and excellent detailing of public spaces. The Waters Creek development at Montgomery Farm is a 52-acre, vertically mixed-use, retail-dominant development located on US 75 and Bethany Drive in Allen, Texas. This development was opened in 2008 and includes approximately 350,000 feet of the latest retail offerings, 97,000 square feet of office, and 233 loft-style apartments in Phase 1. Some key aspects of the development are the Village Green, a popular restaurant-lined waterway, another good example of a linear fountain, ideal for public gathering and concerts, pedestrian connection into the remainder of the community through the extensive trail network, much of the development is based on the concept of being LEED certified, leadership in energy and environmental design, and has structured parking to enhance the urban feel. This development was a performance-based public-private partnership between the City of Allen and the developer Fort Worth-based trademark development. The next stop on the journey was Legacy Town Center in Plano, Texas. This 150-acre urban center is strategically located on the Dallas North Tollway in Legacy Drive, approximately 20 miles north of downtown Dallas. This project includes a much larger residential component of approximately 2,400 residential units, a 400-room convention center hotel, approximately 500,000 square feet of retail, and an office component and a three-acre lake for public gathering. This development was a partnership with the City of Plano and the developers that included Post Properties, Amicus Partners, Caron Companies, and Letty Company. Next on our trip was a stop at Frisco Square located on the Dallas North Tollway in FM 720 in Frisco, Texas, approximately 30 miles from downtown Dallas. This 147-acre urban development was started in the 2000s and is still under development today. At build-out, it is anticipated to have over 4.4 million square feet of multi-generational development. It has a great mix of retail, entertainment, office, and residential components. The town center has a strong entertainment base and includes a multi-screen movie theater, Toyota Stadium, home to Major League Soccer, and a great venue for concerts, City Hall Government Center, including the Public Library, a Heritage Village, the Railroad Museum, 
and a very popular Babe's Chicken that is a family-style restaurant that likes to locate in older downtowns. The last stop in the video is Oak Street in Roanoke, a small suburban community located approximately 25 miles from downtown Fort Worth at the intersection of U.S. Highway 377 and State Highway 114. Roanoke worked to revitalize their off-the-highway small downtown. Starting in 2004, they worked with the Gateway Planning Group, the local property owners, and rebuilt and re-energized their downtown. While the city invested in infrastructure, the property owners worked to create a dining hub in far north Fort Worth, turning this small nine-block area into what Roanoke today calls the unique dining capital of Texas, with dozens of unique restaurants including Babe's Chicken and what otherwise would be an off-the-beaten path. The area has enjoyed great success and is moving forward with the expansion to the south. We believe these are all great examples that we can learn from as League City moves forward with a continued investment in Main Street and more specifically as we look forward with the continued growth in the Southwest and try to create something that is unique, regionally attractive to shoppers and sustainable.